the official ceremony to pass on the proverbial baton as the Queen's representative in the country took place at the refurbished House of Culture in Belize City. The appointment of Froyla Salam as the most senior diplomat comes on the heels of former Governor General Sir Colville Young demitting office at the end of April. Our Excellency designate the Governor General of Belize, Ms. Froyla Salam, brings with her more than, more than just 20 years of experience in our rich Maya history and culture. She brings more than her masters in rural development and her anthropology degree. She brings more than the sum total of her work as an academic, her scholarly publications, and decades of experience as a community organizer all of which makes her fully qualified for her new role. Hi. Hi. Today's official ceremony saw the acting Chief Justice Michelle Arana, a Garfuna woman also of indigenous descent, stand side by side with Salam as the oath to office was proclaimed. In attendance were government officials as well as close friends and family, including Salam's husband, mother and siblings. After the Belizean flag was handed over from acting GG Stuart Leslie to Salam, she was officially made the third Governor General of Belize. She was then saluted by the military. Simultaneously, Salam's spiritual journey culminated with a traditional dare dance that was included in the official ceremonies today. In her inaugural address to the nation, which was well received by viewers and social media, the new Governor General acknowledged the accomplishments of her immediate predecessor. Sir Colville Young and Lady Young for their unwavering commitment to Belize for nearly three decades of service. Their love of music created a legacy which has been recognized by so many. I want to thank the Prime Minister, Honorable John Brasenio, and his cabinet for their trust in me to serve in this high office. I also want to thank the many Belizeans who have expressed their delight and support over social media and personal loads to my appointment. With passion and commitment to perform to the best of her ability, a humble Salam says that with this new platform, she intends to meet the people and be a champion, not only for Maya people, but for all citizens of Belize. Although we were not financially wealthy, we had our values. My parents did not raise us to see ourselves as poor. We had food and shelter. I was surrounded by family with lots of rooms to run around as well as chores to teach me how to be responsible. These chores imbibed me an appreciation for the benefits of hard work. While the installation of a Mopan woman as a Governor General can be seen as a symbolic milestone, it should not be seen as willfully ignoring our colonial past. Rather, it is a new chapter in Belize's evolution as a country for all and by all. I intend to carry out the constitutional role of this office with the required diligence. It is also my hope that time will permit me to carry out more than my constitutional duties. This is an institution with its own culture. However, like all institutions, it is inhabited by people. Since my appointment was announced, I have had many requests made of me, from building bridges and roads to amplifying the voices of the people. I intend to fully build metaphorical bridges in this country, uniting all of us in the rural areas and, to, and the towns. I will use my interest in strengthening local communities to build a nation that can overcome challenges. Dwayne Moody for News 5.